Monster Audio has made a comeback to South Africa and I got a box full of them Bluetooth goodness and of course I went for the speakers first. Good afternoon, welcome back to Turbo Tortoise Tech. My name is Wookie Triple XL, and in this review, I'm having a look at the new Monster S310 and S110 Bluetooth speakers. Monster has recently been reintroduced to the South African market by EveTech, and they, of course, had a full box of demos. And the first thing I went for were these pill type speakers, right? I absolutely love audio. It's my second favorite thing right after RT uh, and then closely followed by cars. I know very uh, cheap and inexpensive habits that I've got or hobbies at least. Yeah, but in this case, actually these are quite cheap and inexpensive comparatively for what they do. Starting off with the feature sets that they share, they both have really nice beefy charging port covers, these rubberized covers which sit over the back which then gives you access to the DC input and then an SD card reader. So these will work independently. They don't actually need to be connected to a device via Bluetooth to be able to play sound. But when they are, they also act as microphones. And just above the monster button over there in the middle is a little pinhole microphone. So you can actually use this as somewhat of a hands-free kit, as it were. Although I think if you were on the highway talking to a speaker like this, you may just get pulled over. So perhaps not the best idea they're in. But as a concept, conferencing sort of device that's where my head went immediately what if you're sitting in a boardroom and you want to be able to hear the person on the other side and the person to be able to hear whoever is speaking at one time monster is sort of 110 why not you've got bluetooth audio really good quality i must say and then the pinhole microphone for that mic back in to the thing so you don't need to buy an expensive conferencing set you need to buy yourself a monster speaker now the major difference between these two is not actually volume. This one is a little bit louder, but the major difference comes in with battery life. This will last just as long as your phone, if not a little bit longer, I'd say 1.2 times a really good phone charge, like a 3000 milliamp phone that normally lasts a full day. This will last a full day along with you. Whereas the S310, I got three charges. <laughs> that was, and I was wondering about that uh, that naming convention, I was like, why is this one S110 and this one not S210? That's because the 310 is three full charges worth of phone battery life inside the pull type design. Now, I did have a friend bring over his very high-end speaker and I didn't feel like this, this cost about a third of what that did and I didn't feel like it gave a third of the audio quality. These devices actually bass trap really, really well. So by bass trap, I mean, if you put them in a corner facing that corner, the bass reverb in there is actually really good. And it sounds like a lot bigger of a speaker than it really is. The other thing is these things pump. I've never had a little Bluetooth speaker this size move itself across the floor. It's got a rubberized bass. It moved itself across the floor while I was playing with it, which is pretty cool. And, uh, Yes, of course, a little bit gimmicky. It's not really a normal selling point of it, is it? But another selling point of these are, is the fact that these are IPX5 certified. So that means they are splash resistant. So if you were to use this around your pool or something to that effect and it did get wet, you could just dry it off and carry on using it. Absolutely nothing will happen. And that's why they've done this sort of beefy, like, well, really, really thick inset cover for your charging ports and for your SD card ports. So, like I said, you can control the SD card from the device. You'll be able to use the extra buttons that are provided in order to switch folders and switch songs. They have independent volume from the Bluetooth setting on your phone. And when it is connected to your phone, it does have a battery meter. So you can check everything that you need to know about your S110 or S310 pull audio device from, the speed, from your phone. All in all then, I think at 500 bucks and 800 bucks respectively, it's really difficult to find, I would say, a better quality, better put together, feature set rich, audio quality sort of device. These aren't going to give you massively booming bass like a 12 inch subwoofer will, but it's good enough that this, in the load shedding and stuff, this has been probably my best little companion. Every time load shedding was coming out, all I do was pop a few movies on my phone 
connect my phone to this guy, literally sit my phone on top of it, and now I have a little home theater system ready to go. The audio quality is like infinitely better than a phone. You can't really compare the two. And if I could mic it up somehow so that you could hear relatively what it sounded like, I would try. But you'll just have to trust me. They're very, very loud and they are pretty good. And I'd actually say the top volume setting is honestly a little bit uncomfortable. It's a bit too loud on the top setting. So that's actually quite a good thing because it doesn't distort at that setting. So if you're playing it underneath that or like at 80% volume, which is where I found it to be quite comfortable, it's really good. I, I did a full system build with a, with this one sitting in the corner yeah, in the studio, like I built on the on the desk here and stuff. And it, it was really, really good. When I was benchmarking the 10900K, which will come out probably tomorrow or Friday, I was busy with that as well and they're just so convenient such good like all-round quality and in closing i have to say this gives me boombox feels right like these are things that happened in the 90s people used to break dance in the streets and stuff and take their boombox with them or you know rap on the corner like biggie that's how biggie got discovered right this is sort of a re-entry into that kind of thing like you could cut cut comfortably walk with this I, I don't know if i'd have it on my shoulder blasting to be honest because you probably go deaf in a few seconds but like you wouldn't even have to hold it you could just tuck it into your neck like a cell phone and you could walk down the street jamming i absolutely love it i think these things are fantastic i highly highly suggest you guys look at these um, especially as a, like a, like a crossover device where you've got a conferencing sort of setup if you're out and about a lot you like going hiking or something to that effect you could play Lord of the Rings themes while you climb the mountain anyway thank you all so much for watching this review do hope you've enjoyed it if you have please do hit us up with a like and subscribe every bit of support helps and then I will see you on the flip side Thank you.